Now we will start building our custom message on our custom service, uh, the service client and the service server. Uh, the prerequisites here is that you understand what is a service, what is a publisher, what is a subscriber, how to manage the command line interface and request topics and call it, also the services. So the first thing that we will need to do is create a package over the project, ROS2, CLI, first. And here we'll create the ROS2 package, create build type, amend, CMake. If we need to specify a license, let me put it a little, a little bit wider. License 2.0. And custom message service. Okay. This way. Okay. Custom message service. And here we will make two folders one for the message and one for the service. And I recommend you that you specify not in your project but a part of your project. Uh, any kind of message or any kind of service uh, interface communication about uh, the server and the dot serve and the dot message because it's more manageable in that way. So la let's uh, do that. Message serve. In this case, we are uh, representing in one folder, but you can have a lot more folders for message and for server. Let's then create inside the message a message. Let's see the message. Uh, one thing to, to understand here, here we will do the same thing that we did with the publisher and subscriber, but with our custom message. And also with the uh, service client, the service server, uh, custom service uh, message. So let's move again and start with our message. And here we will create an in64 numeric message and save it. Also, we will create a sphere message just for continuing with the tutorial. So, uh -huh. And this is of type geometry message point. With name center and also a float CC4 message name radius. So in this message, there are two, two things uh, point message name center and a radius. That's the definition of a sphere, right? If we want to see what is the uh, sphere message on in the geometry message, we can navigate to the geometry message uh, folder on ROS CD up. Let me remember where it it is. Humble geometry message. Let's let's put cat here to see it directly. And in point point message. And the point message is like a vector tree, let's say, but in the name is name point because a point in three dimension is x, y, and c. So that's it. 
in that case is floating because uh, probably we need to specify some points or we do some decimals but you understand now that you can check this message and there is also a list of message inside every ROS folder let's see what is inside this message there are a lot of, of uh, message and let's explain only the message Oh, sorry. Grab. There are a lot of messages here that you can uh, check, and also there are other folders that manage messages. There are a lot of folders. For example, there are actually messages that will be covered later. Map message, uh, PCL message for point clouds. Um, visualization message, standard message. So you remember some of them in this example, standard message that we use at the beginning for the Rust publisher. And now let's move to the definition of the server message. Let's let's move to the server here, and let's create an attrins message so sorry an attrins uh, service message sudo nano uh, attrins service and here if you remember i told you that a message has a query and a response in this case we will put three points as a query and a response of a sum in 64 for a in 64 for b in 64 for c that's dash dash in 64 for sum okay now the next part that we got covered here that we got our message uh, folder on the service uh, folder of the service message uh, the next thing is to configure the CMake list for generating message we need to enable some things as you remember we are using um, some kinds of geometry message so we need to find this geometry message here so we'll put this the dependencies find find package let's see if I can put it a little bit higher oh, yes find package and geometry messages because we are using message regarding to the geometry message require also we will find package about the ROS IDL default generators require this is one is required for generating the the message and the next thing that we need to do is to put the where are the message that we will be generating so ROS IDL generate interfaces project name and we will put the message of type num message the other message what is the this firm message the other message what is for generating interface or oh, is the service is the service of at prints I don't remember if I put the dot serve for the service server message and the dependencies See, depend 
then sys are the geometry message. That's the only dependency because it's used here on the service uh, at three ints, right? So if is any other package, sorry, it's on the sphere message that is using the geometry message, geometry messages. So that is the completion of the message and service message generator. The next thing, what I remember is that we need to configure the package docs XML. So uh, let's find if I put everything okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, let's configure the package docs XML. Mm -hmm. And here we will have to add some things below in any position inside the package format. Let's put it here. We will add the the pen of your geometry messages. Geometry messages. Depend. 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 Okay, now the build tool that will depend about the geometry message, sorry, the, the message and service message that we will be generating is the ROS IDL default generator. So, build tool depend ROS IDL default generators. And the build to depend. Execution that I'm, uh, also will depend of ROS IDL. Depend ROS IDL default runtime. Exec depend. And will be the member of group ROS IDL. Member of group ROS IDL interface package. And that's it. Let's see if there are any errors about the generation of the message. And later we will see if there are messages and a service message that we can query to see the interface. So we will go to the root. And the package is, uh, sorry. Uh, source. Custom message server, okay. Custom message server. Uh, that is okay, everything. Okay. Let's see if there is any error and correct it. Package. Okay. Okay. 
no remember there is no comma here I'm inside package. Uh -huh. Okay, I saw the the error. The error is inside is Rosidel interface package, I think. No. Now let's move on. Okay, probably now everything is okay. Now let's try to see if we can check the uh, message. So we'll source our package and we'll call the Custom message service over the message. No, that's right. Okay, this is the message. And now for the message about the sphere, the same thing, but sphere. Okay, this is the sphere message. And what other message about the services, right? And the service sphere. No, the service is at the other thing that we can check if we don't know the, the names. We I think we can rust to serve service list and minus t. Sorry, uh, there are no services. Uh, okay, we'll check this later. Now let's create our publisher about this uh, message of noon and the sphere message. Let's create our simple publisher and simple subscriber. Let's move and create it over C++. Mm, see source. Custom message LS CD source sudo nano and let's put it a publisher. Uh, let's put message publisher. No, custom message publisher C. I'm sorry, so nano. Let's see, we can add the dependencies about this package. And this is the depend. Our custom message service depend the depend okay oh sorry uh what i what i'm doing uh, we need to create is another uh, package uh, or move to the publisher and subscriber and add some publisher as a subscriber. So I will do it manually. Mm -hmm. So we will move these two files that I've created to our publisher subscriber here. Uh, 
and also uh, we will add the dependency over the package that has MXL here. So we need this dependency to execute rows code and use the messages. Custom message serve depend and save it. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is to compile the demo. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, also we need to add it to the um, to the CMake list. So we will build this. So the dependency is not about the standard messages, it's geometry messages. And I don't remember if I had to put the, the information about the... Um, let's let's move and see if this works. So let's recall it. We added the executable of the custom publisher. Of the uh, the name is custom message publisher and custom message subscriber. and the custom message subscribe. Okay. So we have the custom message publisher. We have build it dependencies over here. Custom message subscribe. Let's see what kind of error it gives on the terminal when we build everything. Mm -hmm. We had to put on this image. Find the package geometry message. Custom message. Subscribe. Oh, okay. I forgot to change the header file. Okay. 
we also forgot to include the dependencies here. We had to include the dependencies. First, we need to uh, find the package. And also, we have to include the dependencies that we are using over the package. Oh, okay, we also <laughs> didn't change these topics inside the, the file. Okay, everything compiled correctly. Now let's source the packages. Let's open another terminal. Let's call the uh, subscriber. And here, let's call the client. And everything is working as we, we stated. Now let's move and create the service client and the service server. We will add these over this same package with the CPP package. Or let's move and try to 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 add the the Python version here also before moving to the client service and the clients uh, and the service server. So let's copy the Python one. Let's create a, a folder inside this uh, package with the same name C++ pops up or no, let's move to the to the Python one. Now let's edit all of those packages. Here the only difference is that we need to, to change this custom publisher Python just from custom 
message service message num I think it's everything here. Let's add the dependencies over the package.xml. We will add here. Okay. And also modify the setup dot by think we are okay let's then try to compile everything Okay, I forgot the man. There is a better way to do that on this just with CMake and not doing everything here. So let's continue. Okay, the rest of the subscriber running. And it's turning not be fine. Oh, I forgot to change that. Mm 
Let's publish the message. I'll publish the message now. And it's not a string. And here, let's keep it the same. I think we are okay with the custom publisher. Let's review the custom subscriber. Now, and it's of type D. And now we have our uh, publisher custom with custom message over Python. Sorry for the inconveniences. Now the next thing that we can check is the service server and the service client. Let's move to the C++ package. And um, in the source folder, we will add the three ints file at exchange these things custom mm, message server custom message service custom message service here custom message service custom message service and I think we are okay remember that we need to uh, let's test if we can build this, but we need to add some things on the uh, package.xml and also on the CMake list. So, yes. Custom message service and also on the CMIC list
next compile to see what errors we have. over the source at three ints let's change the name And later, Custom message server, custom message server. Here we change everything. I think the problem is not here. We add the custom message service here. Ah, so we have to change again the CMake list. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to add here the dependency custom. Okay, it combined. Now let's move on and create our other uh, file in C++ about the uh, service server. Let's Sorry, what I did I was the service server or the service claim? Just I'm um, a little bit curious. Okay, we created is the service here, so I had to change again the name. So 
so let, let's just keep it in that way and create the client now and modify this image list remember we created the client that's previously and remain and uh, rename it uh, uh, re rename the the service as client but everything will work so let's try to Add the other one here. Custom server. Let's compile. A three int server online thirty five. Add to the int service. Okay, service client and service. Let's rename it to server. and compile again okay now we can um, test the other one Let's 
let's run the service here okay has to run One, two, three. I think we made a mistake here. We didn't put the, the correct files. compiled badly let's see what mistake we made here is this is the client let's see okay that's the mistake here that we didn't uh, add the client correctly What am I doing? Custom CPP now. Sorry. 
now let's run again the service ready to add this is the custom server And that's okay. Now we made our uh, custom client and the custom server with the custom message over CPP. Now let's move and, and create create everything with Python. Let's move to the folder of Python. custom service client no let's create first the service which name I put client and server <laughs> atrin server .py. and let's create in python Custom message service. Just to differentiate custom server Python as well. Uh, no, uh, three ints client dot by and let's copy the client. I think it's okay. And modify the CMake. Sorry, the package. That depends over the custom message server. And also modify the setup the file.
let's compile package select by sir Rust to run by serve custom server mm, I don't see a message okay Rust to run by serve custom client oops Oh, okay. Yeah, because we had to send arguments. Let's send again. It's okay. And if we want to see the RQT graph, we can see it or other things. But I think we cover everything related to. Uh, custom messages and custom messages and custom services uh, the type of message that we send and also the different message in C++ and Python about the client and the sorry about the publisher subscriber and also about the service client and the service servers so let's move to uh, implementing custom interfaces.